design connects with people and, and it connects with, with helping people understand the world that they live in uh, in a tangible, tactile way. When you have um, you know, this thing happening in a laboratory that feels so far removed from um, as a citizenship, uh, design has a role to play to be able to extrapolate some of those ideas and, and play with them and to, to see what scope they have for existence outside of the lab. What else could it be? So the bigger picture is that when we talk about divesting from fossil fuels to power a green economy with wind and solar energy, uh, what we often forget is that our material world is predicated on petroleum too. And so when we look at fibres like polyester, uh, when we look at the uh, chemistry of uh, finishing textiles, of dyeing textiles, they're all derived from fossil fuels. Um, so Project Seedy Colour is a project that seeks to integrate design thinking with biological fabrication. How do we take biological processes and integrate them with design processes? In 2011, I started a project um, that explored how we could integrate design with biology. I met a scientist at University College London called Professor John Ward and he introduced me to a microbe called Streptomyces coelicola. So Streptomyces coelicola is um, an organism that we've all interfaced with in some way. The smell of rain um, after a dry period is caused by Streptomyces coelicola releasing geosmin, uh, which is a compound that we associate with the smell of rain into the atmosphere. Uh, it produces a, a pigment molecule called actinohodin. Um, it's blue, but depending on how you work with it in the lab, it can indicate purple, pink, red. So when we're working with pigment producing um, bacterium, what we are seeing is that we're reducing water use by up to 500 times uh, than uh, ordinarily found in industry. Uh, we are uh, not using any any chemicals to fix those pigment molecules onto the textiles. Uh, this is fascinating because any textile designer will tell you that uh, you know a lot of the harm is being caused at this finishing and dyeing stage because of the chemistry inputs that go into being able to create that that bond between molecule and fibre. Um, so we want to understand at what scale this can start to replace these very damaging practices that are ruining our waterways, um, that are causing um, people to get sick because of the chemical exposure that they have. Um, and that offer um, a, an alternative to petroleum-based um, industries, um, fundamentally, for us to respond to climate change, we have to reduce our carbon emissions. Uh, and that does mean keeping oil in the ground. Um, but you and I still need to wear clothes. <laughs> we still need shelter. Um, we, we still need, you know, infrastructure. And so, um, you know, the question of our time is what are the material uh, uh, processes and practical applications we can bring about to create that change?